Good morning, Metal Ed's here, and welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown. And today, we're looking at the latest album from Rammstein, entitled... I don't actually know what it's titled. I don't mean that as a joke. I don't actually know. Some people are saying this is a self-titled record. Some people are saying it doesn't have a title at all. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to call this their self-titled record. I haven't really heard anyone specifically refute that. Here's what I do know for sure. Doesn't matter what you call it, because it doesn't change the fact that this is the band's first album in ten fucking years. I'm not really sure why it took so long for Rammstein to release an album. As far as I can tell, they don't have the behind-the-scenes drama and legal concerns of Tool and Guns N' Roses. All of these guys were certainly doing stuff till Lindemann had a solo album. One of the guys in Rammstein uh, is, is in another project as well, Emigrate. And they've also done the odd tour and festival performance here and there. Or maybe they just didn't feel the need to make an album. I mean, let's be realistic here. When we talk about Rammstein, we're typically talking about the live show. How over the top it is. How ridiculous it is. The fact that uh, the Till literally has a giant styrofoam dick that shoots out uh, 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 goop and there's pyrotechnics and metal and everyone's wearing this BDSM shit. We're talking about the crazy and provocative visual aesthetic and performance of the band, not so much which album is our favorite. Hell, in the time that I've come to know about heavy metal, they have not released an album at all. By the time I started buying records from Metallica and Guns N' Roses, it was 2009 and Rammstein had just released a record, and again, I knew them as a lie. Mm -hmm. Hell, in the entire time that I've enjoyed heavy metal music, I have known them strictly as a live band. And from that viewpoint, I kind of see them in the same way that I see KISS. It would be cool to have a new album, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but it's pretty much unessential because we're not really talking about the albums. The album is just another excuse for them to tour, which is what we want. We just want to see this band live. So forgive me if I'm not over the moon ecstatic and overwhelmed by the idea of a new Rammstein album. I just kind of don't really care. And again, it's not because I dislike the band. I think they're fucking awesome. It's just, I don't really see the point. Like, just, just do your live show. That's what we all care about. I bring all this up to illustrate a simple point. That point being that I think Rammstein feels the same way because they don't really do anything on this record that I would consider to be unique or essential or brand new to Rammstein. Everything you think of in your head when I say the signature Rammstein sound is on this album. Teat for teat, note for note, syllable for syllable. And suddenly one of the most exciting bands of the 21st century becomes one of the most predictable and trite and not necessarily incompetent, but just in essential listening. The electronic soundscapes, the disco beats, those big metallic riffs, Till Lindemann kind of singing and crooning like a sleazy German pickup artist. Songs like Auslander and Sex are great examples. This absolutely sounds like something that would be played in a German nightclub. The latter half of the record, the band tries to create some moodier arrangements, add a bit of dimension and character to this whole thing. And I admire that, but I don't know why all of this is being saved for the second half of the record and not more evenly distributed. But more importantly, these songs just don't really progress to anything and don't really sound different enough from the Rammstein spiel that I'm really that invested or, or excited. After fully listening to this album for the first time, one of the only tracks I really found myself enjoying that much was Radio, and that changed after listening to Du Host, and I heard that exact formula being performed, I think, with more enthusiasm, with, with more glitz, more glamour, more power. Suddenly Radio, while probably not a bad song, all things considered, just sounded like a stale imitation, and listening to this album a second time around, I enjoyed it even less and kind of had trouble once we got to uh, Was Ich Liebe and I almost clocked out completely. What's really disappointing about this record is that one of the most controversial bands of all time really fails to make a lot of controversial statements on this record. I mean, think about it. So much has happened in the world in the last 10 years. So much in our political climate, our social climate, the rise of the alt-right, so much has happened. And Rammstein doesn't really want to say or do anything about it. And if any band should be doing it, it's them. They were off to a great start with the music video for Deutschland, which kind of chronicled the rise and fall of the European Union and just this general state of Germany right now. 
And that is a real shame, because when you think about it, being provocative is arguably a core element of Rammstein. And before you argue against this, I'd like to remind you that the video for Pussy had to be uploaded on Pornhub, because YouTube would not accept it for being so provocative, for being so sexually explicit and controversial. Look at the music video for America, look at their incredibly over-the-top shows, look at all the attention that they've drawn in their career. To give you a little extra context as well, Lindemann, via a solo album, made a song called Praise Abort, about maybe four years ago, I think this was. And it is an absolutely bonkers fucking song. The whole concept of this song is that this, this middle-aged man is having a horrible fucking life, and it's all because his wife wouldn't get an abortion. That is insane. Can you imagine what 2019 Rammstein could have done with that, considering everything that's happening in Alabama right now, considering the rise of conservative politicians here in Canada right now, considering the general rise of conservative politics worldwide right now? There's so much you could have done with a concept like that, with an idea like that and it goes to waste. Like, I never thought in a million years I'd have to say this about Rammstein, but here we go. Rammstein simply plays it way too safe on this album. In the end, I'm gonna give this thing a 2.5 out of 5. It's an okay record. It's got some really great performances, particularly from Till Lindemann. His vocals are great. He's one of the best frontmen out there, period, really. His voice is so sensual and thick and deep. It just grabs your attention right away. There's still some good headbanging dance metal tunes, like Sex, and Auslander, and Radio, and there's some interesting moments on the second half of the record there, but it's still just not engaging enough, it's not interesting enough, it's not spicy enough. There's a lot that could be done with the flow of the record as well, the way it's arranged. The sound mix is alright, but I do wish the guitars also had a little bit more of a metallic grit to them, a little bit more beef. I'm not really sure how, considering that Rammstein took 10 years to make this album, but it's just an inessential listen. They, they play it way too safe and they have settled into a weird creative rut. Obviously, if you're a diehard Rammstein fan, you're still gonna have some fun with this. More power to you. There is still some fun to be had here. I was just expecting something a lot more spicy, a lot more creative, and a lot more provocative. All of the things that I associate with Rammstein, and I don't really find any of that here. Now, to be fair, I should point out that because I don't speak or understand German, it's entirely possible that there is some super spicy, fucked up shit interlaced in the lyrics that I have missed. And if that's the case, then I concede. But the bit of homework that I've done through looking at other reviews through Exclaim and Rolling Stone, and doing some rough translations as well on Google, has shown me that that kind of isn't the case. And even if that were the case, I still think that this is a very dry record. I think Rammstein have simply made much more engaging, catchy, and challenging material in the past, and it's just an inessential listen, like I said in the beginning. 2.5 to 5, it's perfectly okay. On the bright side, it's an excuse for Rammstein to get touring again. I don't know. And that is it! For the Metal Meltdown, I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be, so what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe to so get updates on Metal Meltdown fucking immediately. And you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.